Hi, I'm Mark Dayton, and today I would like to introduce you to key number two from the new book, Five Keys to Unlocking the Gift in the Wound. In the book, we, we cover all five of the keys that help us quickly and effectively identify and unlock those greatest gifts that are hidden in our deepest wounds. And today I would like to introduce you to key number two, which is called Victory Over Victim. And of all the keys and of all the challenges that people deal with, this seems to be the one that people most often get stuck on. Early in my mentoring experience with Brad, uh, shortly after my close encounter with, with uh, suicide, I was sitting in his office and he said, well, tell me what's going on. Tell me, tell me what your situation is. So I took the opportunity to just lay it out there. I told him all about the horrible things that had happened to me, how financially things had fallen apart for me, how my partner had stabbed me in the back, all these terrible things that had happened. And then I stopped and I waited for him and I thought, oh, he's going to give me uh, some reflective listening or some feedback here or something. He thought for a moment and then he leaned forward and he said, so, how's that working for you? I was furious. I was, I was livid. I couldn't believe that I had just laid out my whole story. My, I'd spilled my guts and he has the gall to say, how's that working for you? Wasn't it obvious that it wasn't working for me? So after I had simmered down a little bit, <laughs> he, he said, Mark, you are a classic case of what we call stuck in the story. I said, stuck in the story? He said, yes, you're stuck in your own story. What I came to understand is that we're all victimized. Everybody has bad things happen to them. We're all victimized. We all have wounds. But what we do with that experience is our choice and determines whether we become a victim or whether we stay stuck in the story or whether we can move on. Everyone is victimized, but be being a victim is a choice. And so we get into this cycle of being stuck in the story and it looks something like this. We all have a wound And I'm going to represent it like this because it's sharp and it hurts a lot of times. And when we have a wound, that creates an ouch. Right? So the wound creates an ouch. And when we have the ouch, then we move to what I call the grrr. That's like, ugh, ouch. Oh, that, I'm so angry, I'm so upset, that really hurts. This is the point where we are putting up resistance. We, we often turn to anger, we turn to blame, we turn to frustration, we turn to pushing away the pain of the ouch. After the grr, we come to this part of the cycle, and this is called the blah blah blah. This is the story part of the cycle. So we have something that hurts us. We get upset about it. We get angry. We get frustrated. And then because it causes so much angst in us, we have to have some kind of a way of explaining why this is happening and what's going on. And so we make up a story. And it usually is something outside of us. It's usually... It's their fault. They did this to me. Um, it, it, she, why did she do that? Why did he say that? Why did this happen to me? It's usually something about them, something outside of us. And so we, we have this story. And then we come back to, to the beginning. After we go through that cycle, it all simmers down. It goes back down into our subconscious. And it waits for the next time that we're triggered with that same wound. We experience the ouch, we get angry, we feel the frustration, and we push it away, and then we have to explain it with our blah, blah, blah. Now, most of us have experienced this cycle many times in our lives, and if you think about it, you may know somebody who you've heard the same story over and over and over again, and every time that situation comes up, they want to tell you about what happened and why it's so horrible and why that person did what they did 
and how could they be so thoughtless, blah, 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 blah. And sometimes these are things that happened years and years and years ago, and that person is still telling the story, still stuck in the story. So, the question is, how do we get out of being stuck in the story? This is what we call the victim cycle, or being stuck in the story. And to have victory over victim, we, we need to be able to move on and be able to move beyond being stuck in our story. So there are three things that I outline in the book that help us move beyond being stuck in the story. The first is to recognize that you are in a cycle, that you're stuck. A lot of times it's so automatic and it's so ingrained that we don't even realize that we're stuck in the story. Number two is to find a, what I call a spark that can spark you out of that, and that happens right here. The first time you experience the ouch before you get into the grrr and the, the resistance and the anger, there has to be something that you have thought about and that you've planned for that can spark you out of that and spark you into more positive mindset and more positive actions that we talk about also in the book. The third is to make friends with pain. And that's a key part of this whole experience, is rather than resisting, rather than get into the grrr, pushing away, resisting, getting angry, there's actually a lot of power in accepting the pain, in embracing the pain, in trying to understand the message that that pain has for you. And again, there's a lot more detail in the book. And so my invitation to you today is to understand the, the stuck in the story cycle. Think about your own life, maybe look at those others around you, listen to their language, listen to what they're saying, and see if you can hear these steps of, ouch, the anger, the, the frustration, the pushing away, and then the blah, blah, blah story that we all get stuck in. And I invite you to explore this further in the book, Five Keys to Unlocking the Gift in the Wound that will help you get out of the victim cycle. Thanks.